Okay, wanted to make another video on how we got the harmonic balancer sort of magneto. I think they call it a clutch sort of thing. So however this flywheel right here works, this is a magnetic clutch it seems like. Um, and it, it locks up so the engine can, can only spin one way, um, which is a pretty nice thing. Um, but right now I can spin it however I want, but so essentially you'll have this on here. Okay. Your flywheel, your starter is right here and your starter gear. It goes, it goes right in here, something like that. Uh, um, but then you've got this on there on this shaft. Um, and if we can line it up here, okay, it's pretty much, it's on there. Let's just say that. So you've got that on there and how Sea-Doo has their special tool is that these threads on the outside, it'll thread into here, a bolt goes through the center and pushes it out. But through the center is a hollow, it's a hollow hole. So they also have a tool that is like a little pin that sits on that little lip right inside here, this lip right here. And so it's not pushing, it's not gonna ruin the crankshaft. So what we did, since the tool is, I saw I, saw I could get it for something around 60 bucks without the, the, they call it a safety pin, safety thing. So what we did, um, is you take, you take your crank, your bolt that goes right in there. Okay. Um, you'll take that, you'll thread it in a little bit. Okay. And then you can either not use the washer or you can use the washer. Um, but you'll thread it in. Uh, yeah, you'll thread it in here, and then you'll take a gear puller. Gear puller, I'm pretty sure you can rent those at O'Reilly's if you don't have one, but then you'll put it around the lip right here, and you'll use the gear puller, pull it off, and it'll come off. Um, now for us, it shot off at us because of the pressure holding it on, um, so just be aware of that. And unfortunately, it did leave some nicks in this, but I don't think that'll be too bad. Um, so yeah, and then this slid right off when we took it off. And as you can see, this thing, it's actually magnetic. This is some, some big magnet right here. Um, but yeah. And then you can take just these pins, these bolts out, take the gears out. Um, I'm not sure where we put it, but the shredded gear. Um, I'm not sure where it went. Maybe I'm seeing it right now and I'm just blind, but the shredded gear was destroyed. Um, and the oil pump actually looks pretty good. Um, there's also, the manual has an inspection with feeler gauges, which I will do, but it doesn't have any signs like this thing locked up. The only thing I think that made the oil pump lock up is, okay, it spins on this shaft right here in this housing. Sucks in oil from the pan at the bottom and right here through here, I'm pretty sure a filter sat that had part, it was the one that was covered in, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was this part of the filter right here, sucked in a piece of the broken gear. Once that broken piece of the gear came in, it maybe locked this up. Pro I'm assuming it would lock this up a little bit. Shredded the gear even more, toasted it. Or not toasted it. It's still fine. I think the engine's still fine. It only was 
It only ran without an oil pump for not that long and in limp mode. So nothing looks worn out. Um, I did order a gear gear kit for all the drive gears to be replaced because I think another one of these has a nick in it. Um, so I'm just going to replace them all and put it all back together. Got seals, everything, everything totaled about 200, 240 bucks, something around there for all the gaskets and everything. Head gasket. I got a Can-Am head gasket. Um, but everything else, I think I got aftermarket gaskets for this because these aren't very crucial um, to have a high quality one. I mean, I'm sure they're still just as good quality. Another thing to get this bolt out is a pretty large, uh, this is the crank bolt that goes in here, pretty large uh, Allen key hex head bolt. And the one you're going to want is, I got this at AutoZone. I went to uh, Harbor Freight and they did not have metric in stock. So you're going to need a metric one and pretty sure, pretty sure it is this size. Let me check. Uh, 